Hello and welcome to Impello Insights, episode number five. I'm Hunter Conchin with you today to talk about our microbial products and inline injection systems. Show of hands, how many of you have a dosatron or something similar? Well, then this is the episode for you. And if you don't have one, that's great. You will still learn something. So most often we inject fertilizer because it saves us time, especially when there's hundreds and thousands of plants to irrigate. Horticultures have been injecting concentrated fertilizer straight into irrigation lines for decades. And there are two common types of injectors, siphon or venturi injectors, and then there's proportional injectors. In either case, a stock tank or bucket or barrel is filled with highly concentrated fertilizer solution. Typically, organic growers aside, the solution is prepared using dry fertilizer salts, whether that be JAX or calcium nitrate, potassium hydroxide, or whatever. You likely already know your recipe for injection, and eh, there's no right answer. It's a tailored recipe. You, the cultivate, have diligently crafted for your crop. So honestly, I'm just like you. The last thing I want is another product to try and incorporate that I'll throw things off and make me readjust the formula or I'll have to buy another injector for just this one single product. Ugh. But wait, enter Tribus and Continuum. Bacillus bacteria, as mentioned in earlier episodes, is extremely difficult to kill. Most bacteria would not stand a chance in the extremely high EC concentrated stock tank. But not Bacillus. No, Bacillus is smart. It knows the environment is too toxic to grow, so it remains dormant sleeping until the perfect environment, like your crop's rhizosphere. So gosh, how easy is that? Just add it to whatever concentrated tank mix you want and don't even worry about it. And because it's being applied more consistently, the plant growth response is outstanding. But Hunter, wait, how much tribus or continuum do I add to the stock tank? Ah yes, math. There are several different ways to do the injection math, but I'll tell you the simplest way to do it. Let's say you want the plant to receive one milliliter of tribus per gallon of water. Now that's the recommended rate. Your injection is set to a rate of 1% or one to 100 ratio. That means for every 100 gallons of water that runs through the line, one gallon of stock mix will be injected. So our dilution factor is 100. You want one milliliter of, per gallon of tribus. The math is simple. At 100 milliliters of tribus per gallon of stock mix. Let's say you're injecting at 2% or one to 50 ratio. The dilution factor is 50. So 50 milliliters of tribus per gallon of stock solution. Okay, what about a harder one? You wanna apply at a rate of two milliliters per gallon and your injection rate is one to 128 ratio or 0.78%. So take the rate, two milliliters times the dilution factor. So we get 100 and 256 milliliters of tribus per gallon of stock solution. Now, there's more than one way to figure this out. And if you want to throw in total volume of water applied, then the math gets a little more complicated. But you're welcome to figure that out and craft your own recipe for your own special mix. But I think most cultivators appreciate simple math and I guarantee you it works. So regardless, our goal is to make your job easier. And believe me, that is exactly what Tribus and Continuum will do for you. So thanks for joining me today. And remember, when things seem overwhelming, Delegate and fertigate with Impella. Bye-bye.